Unreal returns to Lifetime for a third season this February. The Bachelor skewering drama has been on hiatus for more than a year, so you might need a refresher on where we last left Rachel, Quinn, Chet, and the rest of TV's most sinister masters of reality. Or maybe you've been spending all that time trying to forget what happened in the show's second season. Either way, this recap should have you covered. Like the Sutress being played by Caitlin Fitzgerald in Season 3, the suitor of Season 2 marked a milestone for Unreal's show within the show. Pro quarterback Darius Beck was Everlasting's first black suitor. Darius's race gives Quinn and Rachel much cause to pat each other on the back, a marathon of mutual appreciation that ends shortly after they each get matching money, dick, power tattoos. Lacking money and power, but definitely still a dick, is Chet, Everlasting's fallen emperor, who returns from reclaiming his masculinity somewhere in Patagonia and immediately initiates a war for the dating competition's throne. It's the first of many tussles for the keys to the kingdom. Chet against Rachel and Quinn, Rachel and Quinn against each other, Quinn against Rachel and network whiz kid Coleman, Coleman and everlasting contestant slash undercover reporter Yael against everybody else. It's as much chess playing as the actual game of everlasting, which in this case comes down to four frontrunners. Yael, AKA Hot Rachel, debutante Chantel, pigskin heiress Tiffany, and activist Ruby. Sorry, Beth Ann. You were only around to orchestrate this jaw-dropping moment, the likes of which seem to be Unreal's top priority in Season 2. Rachel is assaulted by her ex, Jeremy, who's then pummeled by Chet. Chet finds any excuse to put the contestants in bikinis. Rachel makes her doppelganger shit herself on camera. But that all pales in comparison to Darius's cousin and manager, Romeo, getting shot during a traffic stop, a naked grab for relevancy that totally backfired for both Everlasting and Unreal. Darius quit the show, then didn't. Rachel was remitted to her mother's care, then wasn't. Quinn wanted a baby, Chet kidnapped his own. There were enough dropped threads to knit Rachel a whole wardrobe of hoodies. But it all came down to this. Darius chose love with Ruby, Coleman chose to take a coerced murder confession to the press, and Jeremy chose to side with the ex and the producers he was unwittingly snitching on. The question, how far will they go, hangs over the entire season, and the answer, apparently, is vehicular manslaughter. With a new secret to guard, the season ends on an overhead shot of reluctant allies Rachel, Jeremy, Chet, and Quinn. Though the smoking wreckage of Yael and Coleman's car sums up the season much better. Another suitable metaphor? Yael shitting herself. Better luck this year on Real. That is what I'm talking about, people! That is what you call drama, 